What's going on guys, we're back once again, and I wanted to go ahead and give you guys another update of uh, One Piece of where I'm at in the series right now, so drop a like on the video if you guys are a One Piece fan, also what you guys are thinking of the new, uh, the new, the new live action possible series that we're getting. Now also, one thing I want to go ahead and say about this is... I went through Punk Hazard arc, um, that was uh, interesting, right now I'm in the Dressrosa arc, and I'm enjoying it for the most part, I want to say that the last arc was uh, intense, also very funny, especially with the body switching, and then uh, Law and Luffy making up their own alliance, and then at the same time uh, going after Doflamingo, as well as also uh, others to try to make an alliance now I will say that both these arcs are so close together that it makes sense on the reason why that they wanted to go as far as they did with um, the Flamingo in this particular uh, season now or, or arc let me just say that now I am enjoying it I will say that with finding out that the toys are humans and that they have been forgotten and of how, you know, the Flamingo got to the throne and how he ascended to it, how he stole it from the previous family, and how he uses him, him being a warlord as well as also being a, uh, you know, uh, a uh, imperial dragon, you know, him being, you know, royalty and all this other kind of stuff. He's using his influence to really gain the throne, and then at the same time, he gains it by misdemeans as well. And even with some of these characters on here, I will say that some of the characters do, do get on my nerves. Like some of the villains, I can't take very seriously uh, that they have in the Delphimingo family. I can't really take uh, Delphimingo too seriously because, again, he just looks like a... I don't know. I mean, he, he, it's just weird of how they designed this character. This, that's just my own opinion of it. Some of you guys may get upset about that. That's just how I feel. Um, a lot of these characters, I feel like that are just kind of stupid. Uh, for the villains, I feel like that the one um, that they have in here is just really annoying. Uh, it's, it's how I feel like, especially of the Delphimingo family. Like a lot of these villains, I find they're just extremely annoying. Uh, and I don't really care for him. I felt like, you know, I understand that, you know, uh, Luffy put on a disguise just to really go <clears throat> to get Ace's fruit, which I do like that. I find that really cool. But at the same time, just putting up, you know, a, uh, a you know, like a fake beard on. It's like, oh, I don't know, it's Luffy, you know. But at the same time, it, it, it's more funny and it's supposed to be crazy than it is anything else. Now, I know another thing that a lot of people get misconstrued on well, I wouldn't say misconstrued but a lot on a lot of people I, I've heard this is supposed to be a really good art that, that's what I've heard and, and again it could be debatable now most of these ones I again for villains I don't care for the one that was the so-called pretty boy in uh, the the Coliseum I didn't like his character the one that is uh, the, the dumbass big Kid that dresses like a baby that has a pacifier in his mouth that uses his powers to swim through concrete. I think he's absolutely stupid. I think the one that uses his snot as a power, I think he's stupid. I think the way Doflamingo look, looks like he's stupid. You know, he looks like a, uh, oh, oh man, I can't, I can't even think uh, of his name. Um, dang, I can't, I can't even think of his name. He, he looks like a, uh, like the anime version, almost like of a Dennis Rodman. It's the way, best way I know how to describe him. And it's just, it, 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 it's, it's funny, and most of these characters I can't take seriously for, for these villains. I can't take seriously at all. Uh, especially with the one that changes her art uh, uh, form into art. That's that was a stupid, that's a stupid uh, power as well. I don't like that. Um, also, the one that can change into toys. I think she's, uh, you know, they're trying to make her too uh, OP. So like a Mary Sue in a way. And then at the same time, I think that, uh, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Like there's things about this arc that I'm enjoying. And there's things about this arc that I'm not enjoying. And, and it's really hard to uh, enjoy something when I feel like some of it is trash. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I mean, I think some of it is trash to where they're wanting to uh, have these characters that are so OP, but their powers are stupid. And they just, they give them too much uh, power and it doesn't make sense. 
and I just I don't really care for it. That's just the best way I describe it. But uh, overall, like I said, guys, that's where I'm at right now in the dress rehearsal arc. I'm very I I, I want to say I'm I don't know how far I am in it. I, I want to say I'm very far well in. I want to say I just got to the part where um, Usopp showed up to handle against Sugar and that other one to fight them. So again, I don't know how far I am in that arc, but I would say pretty, pretty far in. But uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are about this, about the Dress Rosa arc. Is it a great arc to you? Is it a bad arc? Is it debatable? Uh, did you enjoy the villains in there? Did you not enjoy the villains? Again, guys, this is my opinion. I'm not saying I don't like the series. There are just characters in there that I really just don't care for that I find to be either very irritating or just characters that I just don't see the reason why that um, they could be taken so seriously when they really weren't. So again, is this my favorite arc right now no um i may go later on to what my favorite arc was in another video but that is just my overall opinion as of right now for the dress roster arc and even punk hazard i think punk hazard was again decent uh for the characters that we got i did enjoy monet um caesar was a cool character but at the same time is very annoying with his laugh um i also think that uh again Stretching it out as long as they do that is one of the things that One Piece is very known for is stretching out a lot of different things and it could be good or bad depending on how you take it. But overall, guys, again, what was your what were your all what was everyone's thoughts of the dress roster arc? Please let me know down in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed. If you guys did leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Also, I'm gonna let you guys know on another update of where I'm at a little later on. But again, I want to wait some further in in another arc to be able to give you guys a update on where I'm at. Again, I'm watching other anime right now, so it is taking me a while to catch up with One Piece among others. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you as always on the next one.